What I started Blogstream for was to build decentralized technology, build more functionality on top of Bitcoin Layer 2. So, of course, since Blockstream started, uh, Lightning uh, was invented and developed by multiple companies. But there are other Layer 2s like Liquid, which uh, Blockstream is a technology developer of and a number of exchanges. So it's very Bitcoin-like in terms of the scripting capabilities. It has various extensions, so more, a few more advanced scripts, covenants, for example, and confidential transactions. And so in particular, for this topic... You know, the technology we've been working towards and is in market now is the ability to make trustless non-custodial limit orders on a central limit order book operated by, you know, an exchange. And a good example of that is Sideswap. So if people go to Sideswap.io, they can see an order book for a range of assets and you can even start your own markets in assets just by clicking around. There's kind of no kind of sign up details for that. And then... What actually happens when you want to take an order or place an order is you use your uh, smartphone or your or your desktop. You use the SiteSwap app, which has the private keys, and you know it should it will soon have uh, hardware wallet integration with Jade as well. And that you would basically sign a limit order, and the limit order would either be broadcast into a, a distributed exchange. There is SiteSwap, but there is also TDEX which is a bit more decentralized, and XDEX, which is a company sort of uh, providing market using the XDEX tech, and Bitmetrix, which is an automated market maker. And all these work using uh, trustless atomic settled limit orders. And so basically what's happening, if you think about it, is if you've got a, you know some Tether or other stable coin on the liquid network in a hardware wallet, and you want to buy some Bitcoin if the price falls to, you know, a little bit from where it is at the moment, you make a, you sign a transaction saying, you know, here is, let's say $16,000 a tether and you put an address where you'd like to receive the Bitcoin if the price gets to that level and you sign it. So it's kind of half signed transaction. You either send it into these decentralized things like TDEX, XDEX, BitMatrix, or you place it on site swaps, order book, and when it matches, the, the buyer, the taker, will add the Bitcoin and put the address they want to receive the tether that you're, selling, you're, you're buying it with to, and they sign it. And the combination becomes a, a transaction that's now fully signed, and it just gets dropped onto the liquid network. Uh, in the case of SiteSwap, they take a commission as well, so it's kind of three three-way transaction. Um, and there's no reason that kind of technology can't be integrated into regular exchanges too, because what they can do is they can mix custodial trades with non-custodial trades. All they do is they use some of their hot wallet to, to act as a taker or a maker corresponding to client orders against that order book, right? And then arbitrage will take care of the rest. And that basically allows people to trade without taking custodial risk. And the reason is that what you've uploaded to an exchange when you place this limit order is not you know, the Bitcoin or the stable coin, it is a signed transaction where anybody can take the stable or the Bitcoin, but only if they pay it into your cold wallet, the asking price, right? So, so that's, I think that's the, in my view, that should be the future. And I'd like to see, you know, what venture capitalists could do. They could allocate some funds to actual innovation that, you know, uses the promise of blockchains of you know trustless things of actual smart contracts that that do things in a secure and trustless way now other smart contract platforms have scripting capability but they appear to be unsecurable because they are extremely poorly architected whereas you know what liquid does is use the bitcoin architecture which is a security first robust kind of technology that doesn't drop you know the equivalent of javascript of active x in an interpreter into the core of the protocol and states and all kinds of other bad things. So I think, you know, I think that's, that's the future. And we are, we have been talking for a while now with some uh, key exchanges about integrating that technology. So I think this moving to dependable non-custodial trading tech 
can fix this problem and should be where the you know should have been where the investment focus was all along. 